This land is your land, and this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land. I went walking by a ribbon of highway. I saw above me that endless skyway. I saw below me that golden valley. This land was made for me. I didn't actually charge my batteries before coming out here and they don't have enough juice to fly I kind of landed sideways in a field <laughs> uh, so yeah I'm just gonna go home charge it come back another night so this here is a turtle pack from turtle pack in Australia it's an extended fuel tank, a, collapse, a collapsible fuel tank for my Pipistrel Virus. It'll give me more range so I can connect this into the fuel system. And it'll give me an extra, well this will hold 40 liters, this one. So I'll get an extra two and a half hours of flight time. I'm going to need it for some jobs this summer. So let's open it and see what it looks like. Take a look at that later. There it is. Forty liter. I think this is just a bag for it, so let's open it up. Check this out. Oh, it's pretty big. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. It's about one, two, three, three and a half feet long. Seems like it's pretty durable though. Hopefully it is. It's for 10.5 gallons or 40 liters. Ready to test it out. We're gonna fill it up with some fuel, put it in the plane, and start the engine and see how it pumps into the tank. We got the tank in here. I'm not gonna strap it in just because we're not flying today, but I do have to hook this up to my fuel pump and then we can test it out. So I'll explain exactly how I did this. I have the fuel line coming from the bag going into the fuel pump right here. So here's the 12 volt fuel pump and it's going through a chuck valve that doesn't work, it leaks, so they're sending me a new one. But it's still in there for the time being and then it goes into my return line from the engine. So it's teed in and then it's gonna go back into the tank, top of the tank there, and the bottom line is the feed line to the engine. And then I wired it. Uh, there's wires going through here. You can see, um, yeah, right there. Going through this wall and then it's plugged into 12 volt power. It's on a separate fuse. It's on the DC converter fuse down here and it's going to a switch which is located right here that I installed and this will give me an indicator light when it's working. When there's power on it it's going to turn green so that's going to be pretty helpful because I can't hear the fuel pump when the engine's running. I'll show you how it works here. I'm just going to turn on the master switch and then this. There you go.
you can hear it working. You can see the fuel going in. Looks like it works. Sweet. All right, I hope you guys liked this video. And hopefully this will help you guys if you need to do something like this ever in the future. Another new lens, Sigma 35 millimeter. This is for a mapping job I'm doing up in Nordegg. Uh, it's a 35 millimeter art series. Should be nice. I'm gonna be doing a flight here to Nordegg. It's just on the base of the mountains in uh, close to BC. Beautiful sunny day. I was waiting for this day to do this flight uh, for quite a while. I've had a lot of smoke from the BC fires. Um, so finally we have some south winds and it blew the smoke a different direction so we can do this flight. Uh, it's going to be a forestry mapping flight and we'll be at 11,500 feet. So I've got my oxygen set up. I'm um, going to need that because so I'll be up there for about an hour and a half mapping. And I've got my camera set up here. I'd like to follow a VFR flight. today. 12 knots gusting 22 knots. Time to put on the oxygen. We're getting up to 9,000 feet. So you have a live view of what the camera sees. Everything's in focus. That's red. And I can change my settings on the camera instantly. It's a really nice setup. Uh, 17 minutes out from our site. Ooh. Beautiful view out there. Working on the camera. We're on track. It's working well. Over our site here. Show you this view. Pretty nice place to do a mapping flight. It does take a lot of setup though. A lot of equipment, a lot of understanding of how it all works. Having to fly an airplane, deal with oxygen at this altitude and uh, monitor everything but make sure it's still working. Taken 1100 shots so far. Okay, that's it. Leaving altitude. Ten minutes to land. Look in the sky here, the BC fires. Uh, Thanks. Down here, 3,500 feet. It's warm. Oh, the battery's low. I don't know if it's gonna last for this landing. Sorry if it doesn't. 